Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Today's topic is Baudrillard's conception of simulation. If Jean Francois Lyotard, whom we have discussed earlier, was the founder of the new French religion of postmodernism, then Jean Baudrillard might be regarded as its high priest, says Tim Woods in his beginning postmodernism. So let's see something about Jean Baudrillard. So he was a French sociologist, philosopher, and cultural theorist. He has been referred to as the high priest of postmodernism. And he is a sharp critic of contemporary society and culture. And he is very well known for his iconoclastic statements on contemporary society. He is considered to be a major guru of French postmodern theory. He is also best known for his analysis of media, contemporary culture, and technological communication. He has formulated famous concepts such as simulation and hyperreality. So among both these concepts, today we'll see something about simulation. Hyperreality will be discussed in the subsequent sessions. So now we'll see about his areas of interest. He has written a lot on consumerism, gender relations, economics, social history, art, Western foreign policy, and popular culture. Among his best known works are Seduction, Simulacra and Simulation, America, and The Gulf War Did Not Take Place. So his works are frequently associated with postmodernism and specifically post-structuralism. So now, contemporary communication and the new global electronic media. So now you would have been very well aware about the new global electronic media, which is actually ruling over us. So Baudrillard says that electronic mass media is dominated by images. So the new global electronic media foreshadows a world of simulacra, models, codes, and digitalized reality. And television, computers, and videos influence our lives. So we'll see about Baudrillard's conception of postmodernity. So his concepts has been comprised of three principal ideas. What are those? They are simulation, implosion, and hyperreality. So, so now he discusses about a new postmodern era of simulations. Or in other words, he talks about a new cybernetic technology. He says that simulations have become dominant. And he also argues that distinctions between model and reality has eroded. So don't wonder what is simulation. We'll be discussing about that in the slides that, that, are, that are yet to come. Okay. So demarcation between image 
or simulation and reality implodes, says Baudrillard. As he still argues, with this collapse, the very experience of the real world disappears. So his argument is all about uh, the real world and the visual world, which he says is full of models and images and codes. And he tells that the demarcation line or the dis distinction between the model and reality is getting eroded. He argues that the demarcation between the image or simulation and the reality on the other hand implodes, right? So he is very much disturbed about this collapse. And he says that the very experience of the real world is disappearing. So now before going into simulation, we'll see what simulacrum exactly is. So in other words, according to Baudrillard, it is the simulacrum of divinity. So a simulacrum is a representation or imitation of a person or a thing. The word was first recorded in the English language in the 16th century, and it is very much used to describe a representation. It might be in the form of a statue or a painting, especially of a God. So, uh, what you can understand in this is so uh, when uh, statues are sculptured, what happens is you know that no one has ever seen God, but the image of God is very well sculptured, isn't it? So it is a representation of God and with much reverence and divinity, people worship those images or statues. So this is what we call as a simulacrum, right? So what do you mean by simulacrum? A simulacrum is a representation or imitation. It has nothing original, right? So by the late 19th century, it had gathered a secondary association of inferiority. So an image without the substance or qualities of the original. So if an artist is uh, painting something, it can't be original like the real thing, right? So that's what we mean here. So literary critic Frederick Jameson offers photorealism as an example of artistic simulacrum in which a painting is created by copying a photograph that is itself a copy of the real thing. So either it is painted with the help of the imagination or it is recreated using a model. So it is claimed that Simulacrum is just a representation or imitation of a person or thing, right? Okay. So now let's come to the point. What do you mean by simulation? So it is an imitation of a situation or a process and it requires a model, right? So it can either be claimed to be fake, counterfeit, false, or inauthentic. So simulation, in simulation, the image or the model becomes more real than the real. So that is what we call as simulation. So our society has become so reliant on models that we have lost all contact with the real world. For example, uh, the portrayal of women in 
mass media would be very much different from the women who who belong to the real world yes so reality itself has begun merely to imitate the model which now precedes and determines the real world for example you can just think about this postmodern world filled up with lots of simulations for example hope you all have instagram accounts yeah and what do you find there you have lots and lots of filters right so why do you use that you just wanted to portray a very refined image of yours you don't want your face to have blemishes or any other marks and using those filters your face looks very much clear and more beautiful than or the original so you use filters to get a much more refined image of your so in reality your face will be marked with blemishes or other black marks but in the image that you have in hand i mean in the uh, gallery it would be different so that's is, that is what we call as simulation got it okay so this world this contemporary world is filled with simulations or simulated images so reality itself has begun merely to imitate the model which now proceeds and determines the real world so our world has i mean uh, this uh, modern visual world has lost all contact with the real world says bodria okay so what are bodria's arguments so the contemporary culture is saturated with images says bodria in the form of te television film advertising and other forms of mass media so images do not present reality rather becomes the reality so the images that we look up in the visual world is re representing the reality but it has been changed a lot look at this picture that is in the screen now so it is a filtered image right so uh he claims that images do not represent reality they have become the reality we consider them to be real whereas the real is something different bodriot claims that our current society has replaced all reality and meaning with symbols and signs so the real stuff are being displaced and instead symbols and signs have occupied that place and that he also argues that human experience is entirely becoming a simulation of reality so simulated images of mass media neither refer to reality nor harbor independent meaning so he argues that reality versus representation is going to be contrast so he again and again he argues that we are living in a world of simulacra so the real world has been replaced with symbols and signs that are something other it has no connection with the real world okay so now bodria offers an example so cartographer's map and the real space so cartographer is a, is a person who deals with uh, lining up the territories and uh, designing maps so the map covers up the territories exactly 
right? You know that. But the map, which is a representation of a real space, becomes the reality. Yes, got it? So now we claim that we take the map very, very seriously, right? Isn't it? It is just a representation of the real space, but we take the map to be a reality. So for Baudrillard, the map has become the reality and we forget that it is just a representation of the real territory. Got it? So this is Baudrillard's example, one of the examples of uh, simulation. Okay. So now Baudrillard questions us. So on contemporary religion. So he tells that uh, contemporary religions use technologies, promote and disseminate religious messages. You could have uh, seen it all over televisions and uh, other mass media. So each and every religion has their own uh, uh, television channels and uh, YouTube channels and stuff like that. And so contemporary religions have uh, made use of technologies to the maximum just to promote or disseminate religious messages. So uh, he asks, he asks whether this proliferation of images by different media affects religion or not. So he's seriously making up a question. Or he's asking if contemporary religions are a simulation of religious past. So the religious past used to be very, very traditional and uh, orthodox. So when religious messages are being promoted using technologies in the form of mass media, he asks, he questions if it would be a simulation of religious past. So TV evangelism takes advantage of the saturated images of postmodern post mass media questions, Baudria. So uh, he has written much on theology in the postmodern era too. So we just can't uh, uh, put up the concepts of uh, Baudrillard in a small capsule. It is uh, much more uh, uh, enlarging. His discussions are uh, very vast. And I've just given a nutshell about his particular concept of uh, simulation and uh, other concepts like hyperreality and Baudrillard's uh, views on, uh, what do you say, mm, consumerism, it's a very vast topic. And hopefully uh, in the upcoming sessions, I have planned to highlight, highlight them too. So uh, these are the references. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed it, do subscribe. And this is Wahida signing off. Thank you.